It's a quick tutorial to show the new uh, OSC control as part of the web remote in Unreal Engine 4.27. It's super straightforward and really easy to use. Uh, it should be a very quick tutorial. Um, so first up, we just want to enable the plugin. If we go to Edit and Plugins, and if you just search the word remote, you'll see all the plugins that we need. Now you need to have the OSC enabled, uh, the remote control API, which is currently already ticked because I've used the virtual production, uh, one of the standard uh, virtual production templates. Uh, but you just want to enable the remote control web interface and the remote control protocol OSC. And just for um, fun, we're also going to enable the MIDI and DMX. And I'll show you those real quick as part of this tutorial. Um, and just hit restart. So we're going to be using um, Resolume to do this demonstration. Um, I've got Resolume running over here on another screen. We're going to remap this brightness parameter here um, to control the brightness of the uh, of the light source of the sun in this uh, default scene. So first thing we need to do is create our web remote control preset. So if you just go to your content browser, right click, and under miscellaneous, select remote control preset. I'll just give it a name, any name, double click. Okay, now you need to select this box to start listening for OSC and enable the um, OSC functions. Now, um, sorry, I should say enable all the web remote functions. Now, if you jump over onto your light source, you'll see now um, all of these things have a little symbol next to them. This is for enabling that parameter to be controlled by the remote control preset. Um, we're just going to do the intensity of the light. So if I tick this box, you'll see it now pops up in this control panel um, for the uh, re re remote presets. Now it, it was will have already enabled it in the web remote. If you click this little symbol here, that'll open up the web remote in your web browser. Uh, but in this video, I'm just going to be talking about the OSC functions. Go down here and select OSC, and then click the plus symbol. Uh, it brings up an OSC mapping thing. Now under this path name, you need to, you can basically specify uh, whatever OSC path um, you're using. Um, if you're using something like Touch OSC, you would be uh, creating this yourself and just defining a particular thing. In this example, we're going to be using Resolume. Um, and Resolume's OSC output actually just basically creates a, um, a named path for every um, everything you change within Resolume. So if I pop over here and um, adjust this, uh, opacity you'll see back over here this has actually started recording these changes into this um this little monitor box here so the one we're going to do for this example is this um this uh, brightness uh, control so if i just type in that url so jump in this box we'll type uh slash pump position um selected clip Video X brightness contrast X effect brightness. Okay, now when I move that parameter, oh, I think I have a spelling mistake here. Composition. Missing ED there, selected clip. Video effects brightness, contrast effect brightness. So again, yeah, okay, so that did it. And as I move this slider around in Resolume, adjust the brightness of the light in Unreal Engine. And that's it. That's, uh, that's basically what I was trying to show you. And do the same for uh, MIDI and DMX. You just click, uh, click MIDI, click plus symbol. Um, the only difference with MIDI really is that you're specifying uh, whether it's a control change or a note um, and then what channel it's on. Um, and then um, remapping the uh, 0 to 127 of um, a MIDI value to uh, a float of 0 to 1, whereas um, OSC is doing floats by default.
And yeah, you, same thing with DMX. Now, if we select DMX and hit add, DMX, you're basically specifying a universe and a start channel, and it will turn that um, uh, the maximum minimum uh, value of that DMX channel into a float of uh, between zero and one. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll qu quickly have a quick quiz at the web remote uh, up here. Um, basically, you have a bit of properties and it should have anything that you've uh, already selected in there. Um, and it'll, by default, assign it an appropriate widget. Um, you can um, change the widget here or you can also change it in the web remotes. Um, preset window. So if I just drag that over into here, um, I'll have a little intensity slider. Uh, and this just like in um just like in um the uh example that I will see, it affects the uh the brightness of the sun. Yeah, that's it. That's all I gotta say. Uh thank you very much for listening. See ya.